YouTube and in this video I'm going to show you how to wire lighting to your computer case to make it look really cool. When I first wanted to make my own PC I wanted it to have lights and stuff like all the other ones you see on the internet but I was just starting out so I didn't know how to wire these things in I didn't know what the different cables inside the computer were which ones to connect the lights to and all that and to be honest there wasn't much references to look at on the internet there was just pictures of it but you couldn't really tell what they were attached to and not much tutorials on how to wire so yeah I, I want to post this up to help any people who are just getting started making their own computers and modding their cases so first thing you're gonna need is an actual uh, case that has a window on it unless you don't want to see the stuff you're putting inside it or if you're just putting stuff on the outside but usually cases that cases usually come with lights that are on the outside so you probably don't want to mess with the outside of the case because you might kind of make it look like you don't want wires hanging out and stuff making it look ugly so first thing you want is a good case that's I guess big enough to fit lights and other things in and that you could upgrade later with so each time that you want to upgrade you don't want to go and get a new case because that'd be just a waste of money so get one that you can upgrade to second thing you're gonna need is the lights there's all sorts of different lights that you can put in you can get LED fans like this or um, you could actually even make your own you could solder your own LEDs together and run it off one of the 12 volt sources inside it which is okay because you can customize even more with different colors you like put on I don't know a 555 timer and make the LEDs fade or make noise reactive LEDs I don't know all that good stuff other things you're gonna need is this is mounting tape and basically um, it's just tape that's double sided but really really sticky so you uh, on this side it's really sticky and then once you stick it to somewhere you take this red it's a really thin red coating and you just take that off and then it becomes sticky on this side so you can mount stuff into the computer and it sticks really well and doesn't come off easy but if you like say five years down the road you don't want a light inside you can just easily take it off screwdriver to open up the case and the lights that you're going to put in. So this computer's case has uh, thumb screws. Some might not have thumb screws. Some might require you to use a screwdriver. But this one has thumb screws, so it's easy to open. So unscrew that. And unscrew that. And then just take this part. And usually cases come off easy, just like that. If there's a fan on it, it might be connected to the inside, so be careful what you're ripping out. But this fan wasn't even attached, so yeah. This is an LED fan, and I'll post links in the description to where you could get these. These are fairly cheap, and they're pretty cool looking to put on the case. Here is another LED fan that's mounted on the side of the computer, and another one on the top. And there's a fan grill up here so you can see the light coming up. Another thing that you might need is a, a fairly good power supply. I suggest a 500 watt or above power supply because you want a good amount of uh, wires to connect your uh, lights to. Another good uh, light source is a cold cathode and these are really 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 bright and they run off of 12 volts which is really good and these ones I think have uh, a life of I think 13,000 hours which is a good amount of time and uh, yeah you can get any color of these you can even get ones that there's I think there's like a fluid or something in it and it, there's like an electricity there's an electric like spark running through it so it kind of flickers and dims and it's really cool but these are just the standard ones and uh, another cool way to mount things into your 
PC case is just using Velcro and just sticking it on so you can easily rip it off and rip it on without having to worry about re putting tape up again. This is a really good way of mounting it to your computer case. There's not much um, ways to connect it, connect lights to a computer. One really popular way is to use a Molex connector and this is just easy. Just plug this into one Molex connector and you're good to go. Another way, this is usually for fans, is to use a fan plug and these are just three uh, pinned fan connectors that are at, on the actual motherboard and not wires so you have to find the space on your motherboard that allows for this to fit in and uh, yeah so on this motherboard I don't think you can see very well but there's one right here and uh, there's another one right there and this one's already been plugged into <clears throat> but yeah you just plug it into that and you're good to go when you have lots of wires it tends to clutter all up in here and it reduces the airflow which I guess could raise the computer in a couple of degrees but I don't know I think it's more of an aesthetic reason to have good wiring like wire management and a good technique is to unplug everything and push it all the way into the back just through here and then rewire everything back so you have all the clutter and mess in the back and you can't really see and there's really no airflow back there what you want to do is unscrew the back panel of your computer's case so you can get to the back and when I show you this you're probably gonna freak out because it's a really big mess back there but at least I'd rather not have it in the front so it's just a better way of managing the cables get that off and pull that and there's a big clutter of stuff back here which are all pushed to the back and then I rewired them to the front again and see this is a this is a spare Molex connector to attach LED stuff to. This is a cold cathode power inverter and this is the the connector for it and all you do is connect that to a spare cable in the back and connect the cold cathodes into it like that. And here's the other one. Hold on, it's kind of tangled. And there, you're set to go. And then just push it in the back. You can even mount it if you want. It doesn't really matter. But if you're gonna be carrying your case around, you don't want it banging around in there. So I guess you could mount it up here or something. Just to make stuff more neat. And again, push stuff to the back. And just with the velcro and just put it on like that. And here's the one for the bottom and what I'm doing is basically just taking it and just I already placed the velcro things down so it's easy just put that down and there's that pretty easy once you've connected everything uh, you're pretty much set to go but just make sure you've connected everything properly because when you would turn it on and close everything back up you want to go back in and open it up again and mess it w around with it again to see if everything works. Just make sure you did it right the first time. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to check if this thing actually works. So open that and click. And okay, so see these fans work and the cold cathodes. There's a switch for mine, mine came with a switch, and the switch is back here, and turn that on, and you can see that is really, really bright and cool looking. So uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.